Hello, everyone. This is a Schaefer snapshot on how to apply L'Hopital's rule to limits. I'm going to explain L'Hopital's rule to you in just two simple steps. Step one, just try plugging it in. So I plug in a zero for sine of x and for x. And when I simplify that, I get zero over zero, which brings us to step two. If you get zero over zero or infinity over infinity, which we didn't in this example, you can take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator, and that's what we call L'Hopital's rule. It's a way to deal with limits. So I start the problem over, and I take the derivative of the numerator, which is cosine, and the derivative of the denominator, which turns out to be 1. And I do want to make one quick note here, and that is you must not use the quotient rule. You are strictly taking the derivative of the numerator and strictly the derivative of the denominator, which is different probably from everything else you've learned. And so then I go ahead and I plug zero in, cosine of zero over one, cosine of zero is one, which gives me one over one, which is one. And there you go. The limit as x approaches zero of sine of x over x is equal to one. That's how you apply L'Hopital's rule.